last time on FPTV. And that's how you fool school, just thinking you're someone you're not. Sir, so you're Revit. Damn it, Clevenson. What did I tell you about interrupting you on my sp YouTube? But sir, your quest to Mr. Flopperson will be brought to your desk at once. Oh, uh, but thank you, Clevenson. Get the rest of the day off. Why, thank you, sir. Now, for more pressing matters. What do I do once I find out our friend the editor with the Matrix reference? Ah, with their staff, I'll never find out. Okay, so if this over here leads to this, that leads to that. Mr. Goth leads over here, and it all leads to... What? No, no, it, it can't be him. But, but he's my friend. You know what I need? I need something to take my mind off this. I know. Okay, now let's go to this one here. Winner will receive a very sweet prize. Well, thanks, Robert, and let's head in direction. My, my throne, it's like. Wait, is that? Oh my god, that's not Black Shin, it's Carl. How did I notice that? Wait, but. That doesn't make sense. Who's Carl? Oh, I know. Who is Carl? Oh, okay. Uh huh. According to Wikipedia, Carl is a Canadian time traveler from the year 2307. He left 2307 to explore 2017. Uh, Carl was thought mentally unstable, but after much persuasion, he was granted access to Project X03 world's only working time machine. Among other things, the time machine gave Carl the ability to think at abnormal speeds and the ability to look like anyone matching his size and weight and height. Huh. So Blackshin didn't frame me, Carl did. And Carl looks just like Blackshin. Damn, that can make things kind of confusing. You know what? Just in case you do find out, I should have a plan B. Ugh! Fine, but I can't take this for much longer. Okay. Now what should I do about that plan B? <laughs> hey asshole, get back here. Where's a butler when you need one? <laughs> Are you Carl? Okay. Look back, I've always been there. Oh my god! How, how could I have missed that? And then look up at <laughs> Well, looks like Wikipedia missed that. I need more hats. Brendan, stop! Don't do this! Cameron, of all people, I wasn't expecting you. I'm sorry, I just- Sorry?! Are you serious right now? You ruined my life. You took all my friends. Now I'm gonna ruin yours. Ah! ah! Stop it, Brendan! No! Back up! I'll do it! I'll do it. Brendan, stop. You're better than this. I know, man. We're all friends here. Quit it. You're right. I shouldn't do it. But I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? What? Oh, no. Brendan! No. No. He 
said. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of One Minute Masterpiece. Today I thought maybe we'd do a little winter scene because you know it's getting pretty icy out there. Maybe you're cozied up inside. You're going to want to start with a little bit of blue, a little bit of ice. Put that ice down there on the ground, right down to the bottom of the canvas. Let me blend it in there, right? Got a little swirls going around in there. Right. Then you want to go over to your, your white. And there we go, we got a nice little icy pond there for y'all. You want to clean your brush off a little bit. So up in the corner, just do a little bit of circle with your yellow. Really get in there. There we go. Now you want to go put your brush down and grab a clean one. And gradually want to fade that in there. You just want to fade quietly into the eye. Get around, do what you need to do. Maybe you had a meeting and you just sort of fade it into the room because you were late. You didn't want your boss to notice but he did and you got fired. But that's okay, because we're all just happy little beings out here. Fade in with the rest of the beings that we surround ourselves with. And you know what, I think, I think maybe we'll try to put a little bit of a red barn down there in the corner. Now that was by accident, I didn't mean to do that, but guess what, we don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. Right, and he, uh, he loved fishing ever since he was a little boy. He enjoyed fishing, right? He went out with his poppy lots of times. One day his poppy wasn't there because his poppy was eaten by a shark. But you know what he did? He went out to a little ice yard. He built himself a little hut. He just enjoyed life and faded in, just like the sky. Well, that's going to be all today, folks. I uh, hope you see, join me next time where we, uh, maybe we'll paint something even more beautiful. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. There are so many people on this bus. Most of them have probably some sickness. What if you gave it to your dad? Good morning, class. How was your long weekend? Today we're going to be starting a new chapter, but first we're going to review exponents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Hey! There are so many people, most of them have probably some sickness. What you have witnessed was the creativity, the might of Playboy TV. Now, I'm sure you will love our episode. And this, this is the opportunity, the duty of every citizen, student of our great school to subscribe to our YouTube 